Hello there Aquarius, welcome back to the Illust Illuminator. First of all, thank you so much for your patience on this reading. Uh, I just did not have any time um, last week to finish up for uh, Capricorn and for you guys. So yeah, my apologize. I'm apologizing for the delays. So let's just go ahead and see what is going on for you guys. In your love life, this will be the he said, she said spread for you and whomever you are dealing with. So, let's see, Aquarius, what is going on? What has been going on in the past? I do get the feeling that you and whomever you're dealing with, you both on... You know, you come to a point where you both don't really care anymore, you know, like not putting in any sacrifices, not doing uh, any effort towards the situation, um, being a bit selfish, like both of you are starting to become very selfish in the situation, as in like, well, if you're not going to do it, I'm not going to do it. So, you know, I feel like there's a lack of compromise. That's what I feel. And it could be because someone is just not valuing your belief system or someone is just not... Um, you know, putting any value when it comes to maintaining a commitment. So you're getting a bit fed up is what I'm getting. Like there is some energy of you starting to become a bit fed up and that's why you're trying to turn your back towards it. But let's see, what's the past energy for Aquarius? Yeah, four of swords in the reverse. There could have been some break between you and a loved one, but things still seem to be uh, unresolved, all right? There is still a lot of healing that needs to be done. Uh, you may be getting very tempted to reach out or you may have been getting very tempted because you may have been very restless about the situation or about the silence that is going on here. We do have the page of pentacles here as well, princess of Pen pentacles. So despite the fact that you are being very restless and you can't really concentrate, you're really doing your best to look at the value that you have within you and what you can offer. I feel like you're definitely focused or you have been very much focused on your career, on getting those pentacles, getting your money, um, starting up new projects and new ideas, even though there might have been some lack of concentrations uh, from your end, you're still really trying to do a lot of practical uh, effort and energy to get yourself very grounded, which is very, very good, all right? There is a lot of prosperity that has been coming in for you that you are or need to be very grateful of because these are the stepping stones for new beginnings, for new energies, and for growth in your situation. All right, some of you may um, have gotten a bit fed up with the situation and starting to really put your focus on working out, put your focus on health, uh, getting an adequate diet, getting enough sleep. So I see you really um, trying to put the focus on yourself and trying to grow the best out of it despite the fact that it's still bothering you. Like there are still a lot of confusion in your situation and you may have been dealing with someone that has accused you for a lot of things or um, you may not have seen the truth for what it is or starting to blame yourself for all the shortcomings of this relationship if there has been some kind of a break in the situation. So that's something that you should not do. Try to stay grounded. Try to use your discernment. All right. So let's see. That was a... Uh long intro of your past <laughs> but let's see what else is going on for the person that you're dealing with it's their aquarius what are the messages for aquarius sun moon and rising and whomever they are dealing with what's the past energy for the person that aquarius have been dealing with please all right we've got the moon card in the reverse and the hierophant coming out so you some of you may be dealing with a pisces pisces that may have um came back around after a long period of silence if not with this moon in the reverse someone has been opening up about a commitment or about their vows or about their uh belief systems all right um could be also a taurus that you're dealing with let's see why is this hierophant here Ooh, and the sun 
and the eight of swords in the reverse. So if someone may have came clean here is what I'm getting, starting to behave much more responsible in a situation, taking a lot of, um, you know, taking off the blindfolds here with this eight of swords. I feel like someone has been truthful about, um, what they want out of this commitment or what they want out of this connection with you and I feel like they come from a place of healing so this is someone that has been in the dark for a long time but they're really trying to get out of their dark energies or their dark cycles which is moon in the reverse and starting to behave much more um, how do I say this like this seems like someone that is becoming much more spiritual, spiritually awakened, someone that is um, seeing things from a more positive perspective instead of from the negative perspective because the moon is the darkness and then we got the sun. So this person has been around it, all right? They've experienced the dark side of this connection or in this life and they're now uh, starting to focus more on the positive light of this connection or within life. So there's a huge shift that I'm seeing going on with this individual all right there's a lot of prosperity there's a lot of growth there could be even a commitment that they are thinking of with you that they are wanting to um, to work on but it takes both of you to t come out of your headspace it takes both of you to be very clear about your goals and about what you want out of this connection is what I'm getting here so let's see, what is the current energy for Aquarius? What is the current energy for Aquarius? Three of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, wow, Aquarius. You got definitely a strong commitment coming up uh, in your connection. I feel like this person has made it quite clear that they want to have a, um, you know, they want to have a solid commitment with no, uh, with no BS, with this Eight of Swords. And I feel like if they have been confused, they are now coming out of a period of confusion. Um, you see things, yeah, High Priestess in the reverse though. You want to work with this individual, you want to go towards a happy ending, but you do need to, um, have all the information first, you know, you don't jump into it, head over heels, you know that, all right, you know that, you are definitely in need to connect with your intuition because this person may have, you know, let you in the dark quite some time, so now you're really being like, okay, is this real, is this person really telling me um, what I want to hear, or is are they really gonna do the effort in this connection? And I feel with this uh, High Priestess, you need to focus on getting all the information out, all the confessions out before you can 100% uh, focus on this commitment. But I do see you coming to a very happy place um, within your work situation as well. There's a lot of happiness, there's a lot of um, acknowledgement coming from the people around you. You're really stepping up you know, within the career ladder as well, which is making you very happy. So there's a lot of great, great energy that I'm seeing here coming in for you, Aquarius. A lot of happiness within the home situation, uh, within your home life, you know, you come from a place of... Mm, let's see, what is their current energy towards Aquarius? What's their current energy towards Aquarius? Power. Let's see. Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, see, you need to be sometimes a bit cautious with this individual because they have still kind of like disruptive behavior with this tower. They um, they change their mind perhaps very often, definitely with this Knight of Swords. That could be very hasty energy, you know, coming in and out or... Um, being very disruptive sometimes within the energy and I do feel like they are aware of it and they're trying to work on things all right with this eight of pentacles I feel like they are going through that awakening and sometimes that could be quite harsh but I feel like this person is aware of the energies that are changing expect unexpectedly and they are really trying to ground themselves they're trying to work on um, not changing their mind so often or working on 
um, situations that are not leading them to have any grounding energy in their life and they are definitely working towards a more you know manifesting something that could have so much more growth in the situation with this knight of swords there could be still a lot of drama that both of you need to resolve by you know talking and taking things very slowly and one step at a time and really be focused on a solution here with this knight of swords because they can they can be quite harsh with this knight of swords they can come with a lot of accusations or expectations or judgments and that's something that you need to um, work with when it comes to your intuition you need to really listen to your intuition here when it comes to how this person is communicating with you because they could say something that could uh, make you feel very bad but the next day they will be like okay i want to work on it and you could be quite confused because they don't know how to make things work so they still are searching for ways to make things work with you and sometimes they can be very um, abrupt in taking action or abrupt in take, like saying things that could be hurtful and you need to learn how to work with that if you want to make this relationship work because they can come from a place of like okay I want this and then the next day it's like no I don't, I don't want this or yes I want this or maybe I should choose something else so be careful with that kind of energy is what I'm getting here so let's see what is your um, blockage here what's your issue what's your blockage you got the ace of swords hmm so yeah there is still some kind of a truth that you want to know but perhaps you're not really wanting to dig into that or use your intuition or you're trying to ask that but they're not giving you the truth all right with this knight of swords that might be very um drama based once you try to figure something out that is really nagging on your intuition so there's some kind of a truth that needs to be spoken out which is really really bothering you i want to know what it is about what is this truth about temperance there is it could be concerning a sagittarius let's see what is this truth about and the king of wands so there is definitely some some type of fire sign that hmm let's see let's see let's see let's see what is their blockage i think this is still talking about the fact that you still don't know if this person is genuine when it comes to reconciling with you as well um they have a lot of um, with this king of wands and the blockage i mean the king of wands being in a blockage it could definitely indicate that someone is very could be self-centered all right could be wanting a lot of attention uh could have like their own needs before anyone else and not coming from a place of trying to fix things for both people all right like the king of wands could be someone that wants to have their cake and eat it too so you're not really sure whether this person comes forward with a genuine apology or genuine interest or whether they want to get whatever they want out of the situation or not all right and there could be someone else involved that you would like to get the uh, truth from but this person may be trying to run away from giving you the right answers to it which could be something that is really blocking you from taking this opportunity to have this commitment with this individual or to work on this commitment because you know that there might be some secrets that are not revealed yet or like your intuition is telling you like something is not correct something is off here let's see what is their um, blockage what's their issue in this connection what's their issue the devil yeah your intuition may be right though with this devil card here so there might have been some kind of an attachment uh, this person may have some tendencies to uh, manipulate people uh, like I said like you know with this knight of swords this is like running out of a conversation as well when things are starting to heat up or not wanting to see uh, the disruptive behavior that they have and with this devil card there could be a lot of so like I said this person could definitely have some addictions or temptations that they can't seem to resist so I feel like 
with this tower here, there's definitely something that is going to be revealed about this uh, about this person. Let's see why is the devil card here. I feel like they have some manipulative behavior here. That's what I do feel like. Be careful of people that want that tell you what what you want to hear just to get their way out of it. Wow, five of pentacles and the two of cups is also in their blockage. Oof, this is quite interesting. This is quite interesting. Yeah, it just seems like someone that wants to come in when they feel, you know, when they feel some love and they just don't know how to fix this situation with you sometimes. I feel like there is a lot of negativity that this person still needs to release. I do get the feeling that there could be someone else involved as well with this two of cups here in the blockage because they're not willing to compromise as much as they always want, like as much as they need to. All right, so be careful because we got the devil, the two of cups, the five of pentacles, they're all in the blockage of this individual. So this person is trying to run away from love is what I'm getting. Like this is someone that likes to run away from love. Um, it's funny though because they got the Hierophant with the Sun card so they, they did find a, or reached a place of happiness within this commitment but I feel like maybe it, it was overwhelming to them or maybe it was too, you know, Wow, it's really, really odd. It's really, really odd how this person can flip from one side to the other side. And I told you that already. Like, I feel like this person goes from um, point A to point B real quick. Like, you don't know wh what to expect from this individual. And I feel like they still have a lot of abandonment issues. They still go through something that is hard for them to talk about with this devil card and the five of pentacles despite the fact that they actually would need a helping hand or someone that could help them out they may feel too much ego to ask anyone for help or even for you to help them so when things get a little bit rough for them for them they you know they, they break out of this connection real fast and focus a lot on their work so that they don't have to deal with things and that's something that is very negative and toxic with this with this devil card all right like they may throw in some kind of a fight or throw in some kind of a drama just to rush out of the situation and deal with their toxic behavior alone and that's something that is just delaying this connection a lot you know it seems like someone that rather wants to deal with things on their own but they don't know how and they should get some helping hand or acknowledge this connection and not see it from a negative point and that's the thing like here they see it from a very positive perspective but then it changes in like a heartbeat which is very unhealthy like there is no stability here let's see what is there? What is your intention with this individual? The fool. You want a new beginning. You want a new start with this individual. Uh, you want the past to be, the the past to be gone. Um, like I said here with the seven of swords in the reverse, you want them to come forward and speak the truth about what you need to know in order to fix things. But this person does not want to give it to you. You know that's why they have the tower. If this person could only just open up and just tell you what the real deal is when it comes to the situation that you want to know about, things could actually move in a very, uh, towards a very solid place, you know, where both of you could get your wishes fulfilled. But the problem is here, what I feel is that this person does not want to tell you what you want to hear from them or like you're asking questions about a situation and they just are escaping that is what I'm getting you know they're not coming forward with their confessions and I feel like that confession is really important for both of you to move forward and to close this chapter off Hermit And the moon in the reverse yeah 
you want some lights being shed, like you want the light to be shed on the secrets, you know, on why they go into silence, what, what are the mysteries, like you got a lot of high priestess and moon kind of energy here, which are all indicating that there is something going on beneath the surface and your intuition is kicking and screaming and yelling at you, but yet on the surface you may not see it properly and you know that you need to know those uh, answers to those questions in order for you both to have a new beginning so that's something that is going on in your relationship here and, and this is also your energy saying like well you know if you have not fix your dark side and if you have not detached yourself from this toxic unhealthy uh, conditions my ear is ringing um, I don't want you to come back around with this hermit card you're like well my intention is to be with someone that is wise that knows exactly what they're doing and is willing to open up and have like a very deep um, spiritual conversations about fears, about cycles, about mysteries, about uh, the unknown, the occult and all that kind of things. Like you want the real um, conversation with this individual. Like deep conversation is what I'm seeing here. Let's see, what is their intention with you, Aquarius? What are their intentions with you? Got the strength card. The Knight of Cups. Ooh. Okay, there's too many. Got the King of Wands wanting to come out as well. What are their intentions with you? Oh, good lord. Justice Reverse and the Seven of Swords. This is, see, this person has a good side and a bad side, and I feel like you you know exactly. I mean, every person has a good side and a bad side, uh, and I feel like this person wants to hide their negative side. They want to hide the, the fact that they are not always uh, loyal or that they're not always uh, honor, honorable. Um, they can be very unfair. They can sneak out of situations. They can try to get away with things. And at the same time, they are someone that, you know, likes to smother you with a lot of love, like cater to you and um, be very kind, compassionate towards you. So this person has really, you know, a duality going on and that's what I've been saying throughout this whole reading, that this person is really going through a period of duality here where they're not sure whether they want to, um, you know, hold on to this strong connection and just be shedding themselves in the right way towards you or like showing their good sides towards you because they know that you can see also their negative sides and you know that they're not always truthful and that they always trying to get away with things so I'm getting a very weird vibe from this individual like I know that this person can be very attractive I know that this person can be very uh, dominating, controlling, but also very loving, passionate, kind, romantic. But at the same time, uh, when things do not go in their favor, they can become very unfair and um, lie to get their way. And that's what I've been seeing all this time. Like this person can lie and manipulate to get their own way. And believe me, I said it right here as well. And it's still the same. Like they know exactly how to uh, trick you in with a very romantic gesture or um, you know nice words that's what I've been warning you about you know is it only nice words or is this person really serious it's really hard it's really really hard for me to also determine because I do definitely see the duality like at one point they do want it but at the other point they don't want to give up all the things that they uh, can get away with you know they they get the thrill out of the game they get the thrill out of getting away with things and they know that that's a cycle of their duality but you know that as well so now it's really a tough situation of like what what do you want to do like this is the moment where they're trying to make you accept their behavior by showing you the good side and the bad side 
and be like, you know, you need to accept the good and the bad. So that's a very interesting reading, to be honest with you. It is, because it really makes me think about how to deal with that type of energy, because we all know that everyone has a dark side, you know, but if that dark side is lying, cheating, and being deceptive and unfair and unjust, you need to make that balance. What is more important is 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 the romantic flowers kind of guy that sweeps you off your feet for a night important, or is their integrity and the way that they treat you more important? I mean, you get what I mean. Like, yeah, we all want someone that can take us out to dinner and be nice and, and say sweet little things that could smother us and um, we feel like on top of the world. But if they want you to accept this negative side of theirs, where they do not come from a place of balance or fairness or um, be truthful and honest, and they don't um, cheat on you, they don't take you for granted, that's, that's a decision that you really need to make. What makes you more happy here? Like, can you deal with the fact that someone will always be very closed off or not telling you their secrets or not being completely open and honest and you always have to question where they're at and if they're speaking the truth? And they want you to accept that you can't even ask them for that truth. Mm, I'm not sure if that would be the ideal relationship, right? Let's see, what is the outside influence for Aquarius? What's influencing Aquarius? Why is Aquarius feeling this way? The Queen of Swords, the Magician, and the Four of Cups in the reverse. Okay. So what's influencing you, my dear Aquarius, is the fact that you have already seen this person trying to get their way with this magician and the Queen of Swords. You have some truths, you have some facts that you need to use your decision-making process on. And I feel like you're dealing with someone that is very good at um, changing the situation or making it look like it's something else but you already know that's why you got the high priestess there you have already that knowledge that discernment to know what the truth is and what a lie is and i feel like the person that you're dealing with they don't want to be rejected they don't want you to uh, reject them for their negative attributes that's why they keep on strolling back around to um, you know keep this connection strong and solid but with the knight of cups I'm gonna tell you again that's not the most you know that's not a commitment that you would like you know knight of cups is a night night energy literally night energy so you're dealing with someone that cannot handle the fact that they can get rejected so they are trying to manipulate the situation in order to not reject or not get rejected. So be mindful of that kind of energy. What is their outside influence? All right, so their outside influence is that there is some kind of a decision that is pending here and that's something that you may be aware of that this person um, has someone on the sideline waiting for a drop off. All right, so you might be um, dealing with someone that definitely has multiple options here. Even though they're not moving towards their options, there is someone that is waiting as their outside influence or they're waiting for someone else to come back around as well as what I'm seeing here with the three of wands and the two of pentacles and the two of wands. So there might be a pending situation going on for their situation where they're waiting for someone else to uh, make a firm decision so be very mindful that's why i feel like this person could be manipulating with this with this um devil card for some this person may wait for a situation for someone that is already in a relationship to see if this person is going to choose them or not which i don't really like hang man here Hang man here. Hmm. 
Yeah, you're dealing with a very weird situation here, Aquarius. Let's see what else is up for you before I move on to the extended reading. Mm. Like this person just needs to make a clear decision to work on this connection. Let's see. What is going on for Aquarius? Hunger. Wow. Okay. The void. Oh my goodness. And the extremes. See, I feel like this is the other person because I don't feel it in your energy. But this person is really feeding off of a lot of negativity. All right. They're going through a very extreme situation where they're really, really up in their head, really in a dark place. And they're really feeding off of this devil energy, which is causing for a lot of uh, destructive behavior like I said all right so this person like I said earlier on they really need to get out of a very toxic situation here and they keep on dwelling in the dark they keep on feeding the dark rather than the good and that's the duality what we just talked about like you know you can see that they have a very positive side where they can be very um, you know very compassionate, very dedicated, very strong, very, um, you know, very much um, keeping their vows, keeping their stability and be on a positive outside outlook. But, you, you know, you do know that this, this person has a very dark side that they are going through. So I feel like you really need to grant this person a lot of time to work through these extreme difficult um, energies in order to focus more on the light because this person is really really dwelling into dark dark lane like seriously very dark lane and it's getting very extreme they're getting very extremely lonely as well like this person is suffering from an extreme loneliness and an extreme depression is what i'm getting and that's why they may be trying to manipulate situations and put themselves in situations that do not have a lot of uh, positive outlook just so that they can feel much more comfortable. It's very odd, but that's what I'm getting here It's really really odd Balance spirituality and practicality Nothing will come out of this situation and show the world the real you full moon and Aquarius so you know, I always say like we, especially if you're a very spiritual person, you want to help those people that are in this dark vibration sometimes. And with us spiritual people, especially if you're very sensitive to energies, you, you can see the positive side of them and you will accept as well their negative side, but you will also attract a lot of dark energies. And I feel like you attracted someone that has more negative energy to them and you're trying to fix them, you're trying to give them the happiness, you're trying to build and work on it, but some journeys need to be walked alone. Some journeys need to be fight alone. Some wars need to be fight alone with this devil and the five pentacles because or else this person will always come from a place of lack as in like you're not doing enough you're not giving enough you're not feeding me enough you're not catering me enough well you have all that it takes you got a lot of positivity around you but you really need to listen to your intuition and understand that this person really is trying to drain your energy with this vampire kind of energy all right so again like i said you can't help this person and you really need to make your balanced decision whether their positive side is really outweighing their negative side and that's a, that's a decision that you need to make here you get me like listen to your intuition you are in a very happy place all right and don't let this person's negative energy Try to disturb you. Strength. Again, we got like a lot of strength cards coming up for you. You could be dealing with a uh, Leo as well. But you really need to be strong in this connection. But I feel like this connection is a very strong um, 
it's very strong, it's very rooted, which means that if you would let it go and understand that at this point there's nothing that will come out of it, it will still survive, you know? This is a connection that will survive through thick and thin is what I'm getting here. One more card for Aquarius before we move on to the extended. Individuality and the high priestess of water. I feel like you need to choose yourself and what you believe in and don't try to put your um, needs or what you want on this individual because that will not work at its best. Try to use your intuition, try to use your compassionate side, try to understand that they are still going through a very dark place uh, where they're really feeding off a lot of negativity and you should not be wanting that negativity around you. That's a decision that you need to make, you know. Like, do you really want to be around someone that is constantly soaking you in with negativity or giving you the guilt trips or giving you things that are making you feel worn out or always question whether they're speaking the truth or not or you know listen to your intuition don't be an open book towards this individual don't spill all your cards on the table let them figure out themselves you know let them figure out themselves the strength of this connection yeah you got vision psychic images clairvoyant seeing and out of body travel so you're going to have a lot of psychic images as well when it comes to your um, happiness, when it comes to relationships, what you want out of a relationship and how you can manifest it. But you may have your intuition blocked a bit. So try to be open, try to see what kind of images comes through to you because spirit is definitely going to try to talk to you, Aquarius. Adrift, letting go, allowing a higher force to take charge for it. For time so like I said best thing for you right now is to let it go you can't help these people that are just trying to drag you back drag you down to a lower frequency because you are quite up in your energy and you need to protect that energy all right that's what I'm seeing here and if this person is not giving you the truth let them go, you know, like the honesty, authenticity is important, it's definitely important for you because you are an individualist, you are someone that is, um, that wants someone that is authentic, but sometimes we do attract those people because we want that, just to learn that these people are not that authentic, like I said, this person does not want to give you your truth and that's when you need to let go because the more you feed it, the more you will get nothing out of it. But any other than that, I do see a lot of happiness coming in for you uh, on a personal level or on your work or whatever. But when it comes to this individual, choose to be honest and authentic to yourself. And if someone is not telling you that truth, let it go. That's my, uh, that's what it is. I'm going to continue this reading, my dear Aquarius, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.